Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, Eagles United Ministry, where we're breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the Word of God. This is uh, Pastor Jay, and as you can see, Brother James Daniels for another awesome Sunday. We have a wonderful word for you today, and I know that it's going to bless your life. The word is going to come from Exodus 17, so you want to turn on over there and get yourself ready. We are going to go into this word today, and I, I know it's going to bless you. I'm not, I'm not even, <laughs> my God. Now, today is my birthday. I'm celebrating with you. Come on. Hallelujah. So we're going to get ready, amen, to get our, uh, we're going to get ready, amen, to get our scripture reading from Brother Daniel. As he gets up, praise God. Amen. We just want to praise God for him. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, God. Uh, we're going to be reading from Proverbs 3, 5 through 7 is where we're coming from this morning. Uh, first of all, we want to um, thank God this morning for, for this service. We also want to thank God for giving us another day uh, to just to praise him. All right, uh, Proverbs 3, 5 reads, uh, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from your evil. So what this says is that um, we as Christians should not lean into our own understanding. We've tried it our way so many times and failed so many times. And because of God's mercy, each time he has picked us up and started us again on our way. So what we should do as Christians is lean to the Lord and, and let him direct our path. Don't make a step without asking God, what shall I do? I was told a long time ago, if you ever wanted to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And uh, what that means is God has a plan for everybody's life. And we don't understand it. We don't know what our plans are. I mean, what God's plan is for our life, but we should ask him on a daily basis, what is your plan, Lord, and let thy will be done. Amen. And uh, when that happens, you'll see a change and a redirection of your life. Because so many times we try to fix it ourselves, and fixing it yourself will never work. God's plan is going to come to fruition with or without you for your life. <laughs> So the best thing that you can do is ride and get on board with God's plan for your life. And you'll start seeing a prosperous and a flourishing happen in your life uh, that you will never be able to understand. God pours out his blessings upon his children on a daily if you allow him to. But you have to stand before God and ask him to lead you in the right direction. Um, I want to uh, thank God for this word today, and we want to uh, bless the hearers and the doers of his word. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, glory to God. Amen. We want to say welcome to Eagles United Ministry, where we're breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the word of God. Hallelujah. We come to lift up the name of Jesus with you today. Praise God. And we want you to just bless the Lord in your house. Praise God. As we get our praise on. Hallelujah. How about that? Oh.
among us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of our King rise among us. Let the praises of our
we thank you for it right now. Glory to God. Lord, we open our hearts and our minds to you right now, Father God. Oh, can nobody bless us like you can bless us. You said you'll open up a door that no man can shut and you'll close doors that no man can open. And Lord, we just humble ourselves and submit ourselves to you right now, Father God. Oh, the scripture said, lead not to our own understanding, Father God. Get us out the way, glory to God, that you may reign. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And Lord, we give you the glory, the honor. And the praise, hallelujah, yes. meet the need of every household right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch those that have been believing for a while, glory to God. Uh, let them know, Father God, that you haven't forgotten about them, glory to God. Let them know, hallelujah, when they sit, stand, and lay, that healing is available for them. Deliverance is available for them, yes. glory to God. There's nothing too hard for you. And Lord, we thank you for it right now. Right in now, your Lord. son Jesus' name. Right amen. amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful praise and worship. Praise God. Amen. I am loving God. I am loving God. Amen. And all that he is doing in my life right now. Hallelujah. I want to first give thanks to God. Amen. And then, amen, I want to honor my husband, praise God. I want to give thanks, amen, for Brother Daniels, praise God. Always loving and supporting me in ministry, praise God. We want to invite you out to Eagles United Ministries. That's at 5301 Polk Street, Building 14, Houston, Texas, 77023. Come on out and be a part, praise God. Looking for a church home, praise God. We are looking, amen, to watch over your soul. Amen? How about that? Amen? Amen. amen. Today we are all going to be in the book of Exodus. Amen. Yes. yes. Glory to God. We're going to be in the book of Exodus. Praise God. Exodus 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. In Exodus, we know Exodus is about the children of Israel coming out of Egypt. Come on. Amen. Coming out of a place of slavery and bondage. Come on. Amen. Uh, Exodus, amen, is a, is, a, is a book, praise God, amen, that can witness to uh, 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 areas of our life when we're taking steps out, praise God, of a place, praise God, that kept us uh, bound. Come on, amen. Right, right, right. Exodus, praise God, can help you understand every place that you are when you're on your way out. Hallelujah. Yeah, Down yeah. in the rock, son, the sun say, I'm coming, coming out. <laughs> Oh my God, hallelujah. You ought to get that song in your spirit, praise God. And tell somebody, I'm coming out, hallelujah. Glory to God. But today's sermon, praise God, amen, is called, I Won't Complain, amen. Yeah, Glory yeah, to God, yeah. amen. In Exodus 17, praise God, we, the children of Israel found themselves in a place of complaint, Amen. My God, hallelujah, amen. Glory to God. And we find ourselves there, let's say, Brother Daniel, praise God. We often find ourselves in a place of complaining, amen. Yes, yes. Oh, glory to God. But I'm reminded of that song, that a, that a boxer song. He said, you must have forgot. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get into the text, praise God, amen. Again, Exodus 17, let's start at verse 1. One, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. At verse 1 it says, And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the, from the wilderness of sin after their, after their journeys according to the commandment of the Lord and pitched, that means pitched their tents in Rephidim, amen. And there was no water for the people to drink. Come on, amen. I know all of us have been in this place before, praise God. And if we look at this scripture, praise God, y'all know I love to write and divide it. Come on, amen. This congregation, God's people, come on, because that's the congregation, amen. God's people, God's chosen, glory to God, that's you. Come on, amen, that's me, hallelujah. This congregation, praise God, had journeyed from the wilderness of sin. And I know a lot of us can remember our wilderness situation. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. When we were going through and everything was hard and everything was heavy, amen. We remember our wilderness situation. Come on, amen. But the children of Israel had come out 
of their wilderness situation. Come on. Hallelujah. The, the wilderness of sin, uh, the wilderness of go through, the wilderness of suffering, the wilderness of reaping what you sow, the wilderness of, of hard times, the wilderness of brokenness. Come on. Hallelujah. I know I'm going to help somebody this morning. Praise God. They came out of their wilderness of sin. It says after their journeys. Come on. Hallelujah. According to the commandment of the Lord. Now watch this. God's commandment, amen, is what loosed that hold of that wilderness situation. I'm trying to take you somewhere, amen. He commanded for them, come on, amen. Some of us, praise God, amen, God has commanded for us to come out, come on, amen, and like he told Peter to step off the boat, come on, come on, Peter, amen, Peter stepped off, some of us have stepped off of the boat, come on, amen, and we have been, we, we have walked into a new place, come on, amen, uncharted territory, praise God. And it looked like this place. They said there was no water there by the end of that scripture. It looks as though, amen, we stepped in a worse situation, uh, glory to God, than we were before. Come on. I want somebody to tell somebody, don't look back. Come on, amen. Oh, uh, don't look back, glory to God. Sometimes, amen, when we step out into a place that looked desolate, come on, compared to where we were before, amen, we'll start to look back. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. But I don't want you to look back today, praise God. I want you to understand something, praise God. The same God that brought you out of the wilderness, the same God that brought you out of brokenness, the same God that delivered you, the same God that healed you, will give you water to drink in your desolate place. Come on, amen. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Let's look at verse 2. It says, Wherefore the people did chide with Moses. They got with Moses and started telling him off. Y'all know how we do? Uh, you brought us out here. We don't have nothing. We don't have nothing to drink. Let me tell you something. When a person hungry, they, they lose their mind. I'm going to just help you with something. Amen? Well, let yeah, your belly yeah. get empty. Everybody you run into, you're going to bite their head off. They don't know what. They don't say, they say what I do to you? Come on. And you just get the, listen, Moses, you should have this. And why you bring, listen. They said, Moses, <laughs> give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye, why, wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? He said, why are you messing with me? <laughs> Come on. What you cussing me out for? Come on, amen. What you going out for me for? Come on, amen. What you blaming it on me for? Some of us, praise God, we get to blaming everybody in our life for where we are. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's because we hungry. Come on. Oh, it ain't looking like we think it should look. Right. It's not working the way we think it should work. So we got to find somebody to blame it on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blame my pastor because my pastor is the one that told me to step out on faith. Come on. And I done got out here. Come on. And now I can't see my way, praise God. Right. I don't have no money. Come on. I, there ain't no, ain't no members. Come on. Uh, ain't nobody following me. So I'm going to just, I'm going I'm, to I'm blame my pastor because my pastor is the obvious. So they tried with Moses. Yeah. They begin to go up to listen. They begin to come out. Y'all know my favorite phrase. They begin to come out of a bag on Moses. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go on to see. He said, why are you tempting the Lord? Come on. Yeah. Amen. Don't you know he done brought you out? Come on. Why are you messing with me right now? Now look at verse 3. He said, and the people thirsted there for water. And the people murmured against Moses. Then, then they start getting together. Y'all know how you do? Yeah. You go find two people that, that, that's going to that's gonna complain with you. Right, You're gonna right, find right. two people that's gonna Israel, touch. Right. Come on, come on, brother. Dan. That's gonna touch. Come on. Agree. And agree. Yes. <laughs> in your mess. Come on. <laughs> you're gonna find two people that's in agreement with where you are in your spirit. But you got to understand something. Oh my God. <laughs> the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Come on. Yes. And, and, and they were thirsty. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. So I'm gonna go and get me a crew of people. That believe what I believe. Come on. That walk 
with me in my in my little in my little rebellion. Come on, in my complaining. Come on, I'm trying to help you today. Sometimes we'll go into a place of rebellion just because we can't see our way. Come on, sometimes we'll go into a place of rebellion and doubting God. Ah, can somebody say just trust Him? We'll go into a place of doubting God because we can't see our way. We can't see the resources. We can't see the door. Come on. We can't see the source. We can't see where it's going to come from. So we get some folk and we get to run in our mouths and, and we get to saying negative stuff. But we got to understand, amen, if God be for us, he's more than the whole world against us. Come on. You got to get a I won't complain in, my, in your spirit. Come on, amen. Amen, amen. My God. Yes, yes, yes. Watch this. They said, watch this. They going to go to Moses. Watch this. They say, what for is this? That thou had brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our, uh, and our children and our cattle with thirst. He brought us out here to kill us all. Come on. No. He brought us out here to leave us. Come on. Yeah. He brought us out here to set us up for failure. See, sometimes, praise God, you need to stop talking and get to praying. Come on. Amen. Right there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Right when you feel yourself getting hungry or starved. Come on. Right, right when you feel yourself ready to throw in the towel. Right, right when you there. see that understanding, you feel that misunderstanding begin to take a hold of you. You need to stop and pray. Right there. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What did he bring us out here for? He brought us out here to kill us out. He brought us out here to leave us. He brought, he set us up. He the woman. Yes, yes. That's how we feel. Sometimes we get in there, we get to talk about our pastor. Our pastor told us to get this building. Now the lights bill do. We can't pay it. He begging for money. Mm. Ah. But we used to sing a song, praise God, when I was coming up. It said he didn't bring us this far to leave us. Huh. He didn't teach us to swim to let us drown. He didn't build a home in us just to move away. He didn't pick us up to let us down. Come on. Amen. You got to know who you serve. Come on, amen. Yes. See, the people began to look at Moses. Come on, amen. But you got to understand that Moses, amen, was but a vessel. Come on, amen. Yes. You got to trust in the Lord. Oh, Brother Daniel, say, lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Come on, amen. Now watch this, praise God. Hallelujah. We go into verse 4, praise God. It says, amen. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, what shall I do unto this people? Moses said, Lord. <laughs> see, they, see, Moses did what they should have did. Moses got the praise. Come on, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to bend the knee. Amen. No. Come on. We used to watch Game of Thrones. Amen. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. And in Game of Thrones, you had to know who the, who the queen was or who the king was. And you had to what? Bend the knee. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm trying to help you this morning. You better learn how to what? Bend, bend the, knee. the knee. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's got so much in store for you. Praise God. Don't allow your thirst, don't allow your hunger to walk you out of what God got for you. Don't allow yourself to get turned all the way around. Come on. Amen. You just went through a journey. Come on. You just came out of the wilderness. Come on. You just got your breakthrough. Come on. Amen. And the devil want to creep in there, glory to God, Amen. and get you all caught up with complaining and murmuring. Come on. And questioning leadership, glory to God. But I'm here to tell you, praise God. Mm. If you trust him, my God, if you trust him, he'll make a way out of no way. Come on. He'll make water in your dry place. Come on. He'll bring food in a place where there is no food, glory to God. Hallelujah. He'll bring finances, amen, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, glory to God. Yeah. All you got to do, amen, is trust, trust him. Trust him. Amen. Just trust him. Moses cried out to the Lord, amen, saying, what shall I do, Lord? Unto this people. What should I do for your people, glory to God? Lord, you called me to bring them out, glory to God. To lead them out, glory to God. What should I do, glory to God? For your people, glory to God. Some of y'all need to get around in your house, glory to God. And say, Lord, you gave me these children, glory to God. What should I do to feed them, glory to God? Lord, you gave me this house, glory to God. What should I do, glory to God, for the mortgage, glory to God? You gave me this car, glory to God. What can I do to pay the car, no, glory to God? See, some of us, glory to God. God done brought us out and we done forgot how to pray. We done forgot how to seek his face, glory to God. We done forgot how to lay prostrate on the floor, hallelujah. 
time and time again. Oh my God, year after year. Today I made 43, glory to God. I can say year after year yeah. for 43 years, glory to God. He has shown his grace and mercy in my life, glory to God. Yeah. For 43 years, glory to God. He done woke me up 365 days each year, glory to God. And yeah. said, girl, do it again, hallelujah. One more yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, you got to learn how to lay out, hallelujah. Yes. You got to learn to get back into that place, glory to God. Ah, somebody need to say, take me back, hallelujah. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place, hallelujah, where I first received you, hallelujah. Help me to remember, glory to God, who you are and whose I am. Yes, My yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, hallelujah. He said, what shall I do? They be almost ready to stone me. Moses knew that they was angry, hallelujah. Yes. But let me tell you something. You'll do some crazy stuff out your anger. Oh, come on now, hallelujah. You'll get the line out your anger, come on, amen. You'll get the throwing stones, sticks and stones out your anger, come on. Yes. I'm telling you today, glory to God. Slow the rap. Moses knew where the people were. He knew where they were, hallelujah. In their flesh, come on. Yes. <laughs> My God. My God. Let's look at verse 5. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people. He said, Get on back out there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't, want, don't be scared. Come on. Lord have mercy. He said, Get on back out there. Glory to God. And I went through this before in my life, praise God. When the Lord said, Don't be scared. Get on back out there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch this. He said, go before the people and, and take with thee, uh, with thee of the elders of Israel. He said, take you, take you some, take you some folk. Amen. Now watch this. He said, and thy rod, wherewith thou smoke the river. Oh, glory to God. Take in thy hand and go. <laughs> My God. Behold, I will stand before thee there, there upon the rock in, in, in Horeb. Amen. And thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it. Now, why am I reading this part about what Moses had to do? God already working something out on your behalf. Praise God. You done, you done got mad. Come on, amen. You done said, I ain't with this no more. I'm going to go back where I came from. Come on. I'm going to go back and just, come on. I'm going to go back. I can testify to folk that God going to do this and God going to do that. But now I'm in a wilderness situation, a desolate place. I'm hungry and thirsty. I'm going to go back and just admit and bow down and admit I was wrong. The devil is a lie. Mm, amen. God about to break through. God about to do something. God about to make it right. Yeah. God about to provide. God about to break through. All you got to do is stay on court. Oh my God, you ain't ready. He told Moses, come on. He said, Moses, I need you to take the rod. Oh, that, oh Lord, have mercy. That you head at the river. Watch this. And I need you that you smoke the river. Come on, amen. And then I need you to smoke the rock. I need you to hit that rock. Come on, amen. Yeah. God about to bring your miracle. God about to bring your breakthrough. God about to show somebody who he is. See, you don't understand what you're going through, huh? Because it's folk watching and they need to know who God is. Yes. You in your hungry place because God's going to provide supernaturally so somebody can see who he is. Yes, yes, yes. God's got to raise you up supernaturally because somebody needs to know who he is. Somebody needs to know that he's still able. God, they need to know that God is still the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Glory to God. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. But what are we going to do when you done gave up? Mm. What testimony is coming out of that? When you done turned around. Come on. You done let the devil walk you back into a place of bondage. You done let the devil walk you back into a place where the adversary is. You done let the devil. Come on. Amen. My God. What glory can God get out of that? No. Huh. Tell somebody I won't complain. Oh, there used to be a song, amen, they used to sing, praise God. They say, I'll wait. Mm. Lord, I'll wait. Yeah. Lord, I'll wait until my 
change come. <laughs> yeah. I wait till my appointed time, glory to God. I wait until my change come. I wait, glory to God, for my healing. I wait for my deliverance. I wait for my breakthrough. I wait for my children to be saved. Come on. I wait for my husband to be saved. I wait for my wife to get delivered. I wait till my change come. Yes, yes. My God. Oh my God, hallelujah. You need to tell somebody I wait. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You say, how long am I going to be out here without, without some need? And what did you say? How long? Not long. Come on, hallelujah. How long, glory to God? My God. If I have to go without drink, he said, how long? Not, Not long. long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I won't complain. I won't complain. I won't complain. I hope this word today, praise God, bless your life. Amen. We got to come out of complaining so much. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say, I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining. It's still a pretty way to, to complain. Amen. It's still just a pretty way, pretty way to, to complain. Hallelujah. Oh, God is right there. Listen, your breakthrough is right there. I was sitting at the train track. Praise God. Amen. And this young lady was in front of me in her car. Amen. And she had been sitting at that train track for a minute. Glory to God. I was right behind her. I had just turned me up a little music. Amen. I was sitting at the train track with her. Amen. I was right there with her. Five more cars was right there with her. Glory to God. Amen. And, and she, got, she got irritated and just turned and just went back. Come on. Amen. Which probably was a longer way. Amen. Oh my God. As soon as she turned and went back the other way, the end of the train came. Lord, have mercy. I want to help somebody today. Praise God. Some of us, amen, want to turn back. Amen. Glory to God. But the end of the train, glory to God. The tracks are about to be freed up in just a few minutes. Come on. Amen. Oh my God. Your breakthrough is about to come in just a few minutes. Glory to God. I just need you to wait. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Wait, I say, on the Lord. God's going to clear the way. He said, they that wait upon the Lord mm. shall renew their strength. Uh. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They yeah. shall run and not faint. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I want my wings, glory to God. Yeah. I don't know about you, glory to God, but I'm going to hold on just a little while longer because I know everything is going to be all right. Yeah. It's the same God, hallelujah, that did it before. It's the same God that's going to do it again. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to say, praise God, that I hope something was said, amen, that changed your life, praise God. I hope something was said, amen, that'll help take you to that new place in Christ. Hallelujah. This thing, amen, ain't just about you, praise God. This thing is about somebody else getting their deliverance. This thing ain't just about you and what you want in your pity parties. Come on. You got to hold on, amen. You got to consecrate that flesh. Come on, amen. So your spirit man can rise, amen, and tell your flesh to sit down somewhere. I'm waiting on a breakthrough from the Lord. Come on, you got to feed that spirit man. So when your flesh rise up, Lord of God, your spirit man can say, sit down. I'm waiting on something from the Lord. Oh, come on, amen. And it's not coming in a FedEx truck. Come on. It's not coming by UPS. Come on. It's not coming by USPS. I don't know. Public, I don't know. It's not coming that way, praise God. But it's coming uh, through, uh, Lord have mercy, it's coming through your faith in God. Come on now, hallelujah. Some of us, amen, I've been trying it this way. I've been doing it this way. And you want to go back to the old way. But I'm here to tell you, praise God, amen. Oh, ain't no God like the God I got, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You need to get in your spirit and start saying, I'm coming out, glory to God. I'm going to wait until my change Come, glory to God. Oh, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak some patience over your life, glory to God. I speak some patience into your spirit, glory to God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't care what it looked like. The children of Israel were caught up on what it looked like, glory to God. Hallelujah. But looks can be deceiving, glory to God. Hold on. Just 
just a little while longer and everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. This has been Pastor J. Amen. And Brother Daniels with Eagles United Ministries, praise God, breaking the yoke of bondage through the power of the word of God. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen.